welcome and a good evening good people it is legit hustlers here on urban tv with me brenda kembabazi now today right here is a mini processing plant that is led by hakim secondi who has made a living from making beauty products health products food supplements cosmetology and all i mean name it so today we talked to him and we want to know where he started and how far he has brought it to today <music> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very fine. So the people that are watching Urban TV mm. would like to know who is Hakim Sekandi. My name is Hakim Sekandi mm -hmm. from, from a small family. From, uh, I'm born from Masaka. I have grown up in Masaja, that side of Masaja. Okay, my education background was not so good. It was, not, it was challenging. Different mothers, different people. Yeah, that's why I, just gain gain skills from different people, mm. different relatives, so that that's why I work hard so that to see that I make up something mm. which can change, which can change others. Okay. Yeah. So how far did you go in school? Did you actually study cosmetology for what you see you doing here? Mm, no, mm -hmm. I've just uh, I've just studied the IT from a okay. senior for dropout because of school fees, as you know. Mm. Then I've just joined technical, learned computer and science. Look, this technical work for computer technology. I've worked after like two years, I got the certificate. Yeah, just join workshops, different workshops. Kampara Road, I've, just, I've been helped with my father, mm. my relatives, so that I work up in different companies. That's where I've just gained skills. Okay. Yeah. So you're an IT personnel and yeah. now you're making health and beauty products. Yes. How come? Yes, I've changed that one. I've changed that after working different companies, different ministries without the payment was not good. I've worked in South Sudan, mm. GPS system, the company called um, Viva Cell. I've worked in now technology in South Sudan. Mm. Uh, just like, gain experience from my workmates. That's why I've changed my attitude, mm. my ideas to be self-employed, to set up something mm. so that I can help my brothers, help my relatives, because for them they can't go for the IT, mm. they can't go for the technical work. I used to gain eyes alone, mm. so that I used to get enough, but I used to be have relatives, what they have to go to school, they have to do what, and it, would, it was not help, helpful as I came alone. Okay. That's why I set up, to set up something like a company so that I can employ others and set up business which can cover Uganda, okay. all Uganda and different neighbors. Because in that time, in South Sudan, there was a market for cosmetics, soap, mm. clean detergent, okay. cosmetics, so that I get, a, I gain experience from Chinese, Mm. Japanese, Kenyans, how do they change their life okay. from small scale? And you're gonna wish to go to school, senior four, senior pop university. You reach to 30 without anything. anything. Mm. So that I started working when I was still young. Mm. So that I've achieved a lot from South Sudan. Mm. Then I decided after these things of happen these things happened in South Sudan, this war happening mm. I changed my attitude so that I can set something here mm. by the way I started in South Sudan to me I start, I set up small factory for make liquid soap mm. cosmetology I lost a lot from South Sudan mm. that's why I changed my mind so that I have to start something, something home mm. yeah home I lost money lost everything <laughs> I didn't give up so mm. that I changed my mind to Uganda okay. So tell us, how did you actually start this production? For someone watching, they might think mm. you actually invested a lot of money. Mm. How did you start all of this? Mm. You know, I started this small. Mm. I started, I think it was because I came back with that, without nothing. You see, you remember, I lost everything like $20,000. Mm. That was my investment in South Sudan. I came back empty handed mm. so that I didn't give up because I was determined according to the situation we, 
I passed there in South Sudan. Mm. So that here, I thought a lot, I think a lot where I can I start, but I was having experience from different people, Japanese, Kenyans, so that I use the same experience here so that we can we can set up. I started I started with something small, by then nothing. Mm. I just used my okay. capital, my brain, so that I can start up. I've just started here as a hawker. Mm. See, I used to make these things so that I go with them that side of Awino, Masaka, so that can I get get, yeah, can get customers. Then I get orders from customer and I was not having capital. Mm. Get idea from my brother who's working in Awino. Mm. I consult my my father so that see if I can he can help something small. He was nah, he was not having but I I find those one who are here, mm. they are getting something but it's not which is not enough. But mm. they can help you with food, they can help you with with transport. Mm. You know, for them they think that you have. Mm. Because I've been to South Sudan before <laughs> you have a car. You come with a lot Yeah, of money. a lot of money. Mm. I put that aside so that I can start afresh okay. on the ground. Okay. Mm. Where do you source the raw materials that we've been seeing outside? Mm. Yeah, the raw material they are here in Uganda. For me, I don't believe in importing. Mm. I believe in using, using our own. Our own. Why because Uganda why, yeah, you Uganda, mean? Uganda here we have a lot of things. Because I gained that experience from an Indian who are, I used to work with mm. with him in South Sudan. Told me that Uganda we are rich, but we can we don't see what we have. Mm. You see, then I gained that I get I I think I got them books from them. Mm. so that I can get formulas, different formulas. I think we have seen different items here, different products here. Mm. Then I do, I do research. Then in Uganda here we have a lot of minerals, have a lot of organic, we have different things which you can put in adding value, mm. call it adding value. And you can start the small scale at home mm. from where you are. You can start doing things from home, mm. from your office, so that you can get money. So, for example, like the okra that you use, that the seeds are seen outside the yeah. avocado, mm. where do you get all of those from? Yeah, I get this one now. This one from ginger they have, aroa they have, get them from Owino, Nakasero they have. But yeah, they used to throw them, to throw them at the, at the rubbish. At rubbish. Yeah, my big idea, so that how can I add in value? Mm. So that we pack, we change the we change the parking from from ordinary way mm. so that we can we can sell to the people because here in the, mostly in central Uganda here people they don't they don't know how to use mm. and they don't know how they what's the healthy benefits okay. yeah for me I know I used to go because I was an IT I know how to use internet I know how to use you know how to research go research using research from different countries then I put them together Mm. From internet, from Google, you can get the healthy benefits. The people who have been using, they give you ideas, change this, do this, so that you can track them. Okay. Mm. So tell us the process of how you actually start from the seeds that we see being dried mm. to finally packing them in tins like this. Yeah, yeah, you can get from one okra. Now, you know, now I, get, I buy those things from farmers. Mm. Ginger, arua, iganga, those one with the, those one with, they don't, so that they, they, they used to import them, mm. but before they lost market from Dubai, Kenya, where they, for, they, for me I used to buy from them. Mm. Before we used solar dryer, but they need a lot of money mm. to put the fact to put the stand for solar dryers. So we start them locally. Mm. We use the clean tarpaulin. Mm. We cut them in the clean in the clean the place. We mm. use those basins. We clean them. We wash them, and we use direct sun. So after they have dried, mm. what next? What next? That is processing. We take them to the machines mm. so that we can make them in powder form okay. like this. We make them powder form mm. and we're adding value so that anyone can buy from supermarket. Mm. There is barcode, ERF benefit indicated, mm. expired date indicated, mm -hmm. seal. There's no, stag they call them, they call them bacteria which can enter inside. That's why we put this seal and we two seals, this one and this one. Okay. So that anyone can buy, you can move with them at airplane, you can take to everywhere yeah. and import, exporting them. Okay. Because I have customers in South Africa, have customers in Dubai and UK, they used to send orders because I used to market on WhatsApp, Facebook, okay. yeah.
Mm. Most of these parking mm. materials are not available in Uganda. How mm. do you go about that? Before, I used to buy this pro these packaging things from Kenya. Yeah, using small money, you send money, using bus, so that it was challenging because of capital, using small money, lot of loss. Someone without capital or determined, mm. you cannot, you cannot stay, you cannot continue doing. Okay. Sure, there is a lot of challenge mm -hmm. doing this thing. Okay. You need determination and to persist on these things. People here they don't know about this product. Mm. Uh, they they don't know like now for us we indicated in English. Mm. Some of them why why don't you indicate in Uganda? For us we don't know. Mm. So that you get challenge explaining, 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 so that one customer bring you another one, one customer bring you another one. Mm -hmm. So that you continue like that. Okay. Yeah, this packaging, right now we now the factory started here. It is now reducing the price. We used to to we used to get from Kenya and we now the the those I think it's called self pack they now they gain interest here in Uganda and they started building a factory here. So how many people are you employing in this mini factory here? Uh, right now here it's a small scale. Right now we have fifteen okay. at the moment, but we have others who are buying and they sell. Those are not my employee, but those are marketeers. Mm -hmm. They used to buy to come at our place. They buy you give them at the discount. So that they can sell different parts, Arua, Sudan, uh, Juba, okay. they take to Busia, everywhere where, they, where people can, they use this. Okay. Mm. So how have you managed to market your products? How does someone get to know about Hasha products? Um, right now, I have marketing here in Uganda. It's a challengeable thing. It's now three years marketing. I'm on the marketing. We sometimes used to give free. Mm. Free. You have... Both, you have added thing, you have put a lot of money, but people say, oh, why don't you give us that first sample? Mm. Uganda, they like samples. You see? Mm. First give me, first give me. Now, this packaging only, it's 15, it is 2,000. Mm. The product inside, something like 3,000. Mm. You look that you are going to give out something like 6,000 for free. Mm. Every day you give, like, you give out like six pieces. Mm. You are making loss, but okay. you, nothing to do, you have to give out. Mm. You see? So that next time, You'll buy. In that giving out, sure, for me, I have, I think, like, get, like, 20 customers from giving out. And some of them from, from, from Kenya, another one from UK. Mm. Uh, I was that side of Monyonyo exhibition. I have given 10 of them, but few of them have bought from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah.